Hey everybody, my name is Philip, and I'm joined here with Zambezi and Omo for another Zambezi and Omo update. Today we're in a different location. We are hanging out in our outdoor demo space, which is a different than our typical update location. And that's because Omo is getting more and more comfortable with these outdoor spots. Today he was even seen taking a nap right up here next to this barrier, about seven or eight feet away from guests. So he's getting much more comfortable the larger and larger that he grows. Now, speaking of growing large, Omo right now weighs a lot, and we are all curious to know when he's gonna reach that 500 pound mark. Keepers are taking bets on it right now, and we encourage everybody to join in and keep your eyes peeled for a little competition post on when he's gonna reach that 500 pound milestone. Now, you might notice that Zambezi's eating tons of produce right now. She loves these as her training snacks. Omo is also engaging quite often with us as well, but sometimes he can be a little bit shy. Just like hippos in the wild, physical touch is a big thing for him and Zambezi. So he makes sure to basically keep his rear end or his shoulder touching her at almost all times when we're out here in these outdoor spaces so that she doesn't have to keep turning around and doing checks to make sure that he's there. She doesn't have the best rear view mirror. And also to help him stay nice and comfortable knowing that mom is always close by. One fun thing about these outdoor yards for Omo is that he gets very, very sleepy. He took a nap out here earlier today. This nice soft dirt he loves to lay down in, especially on these nicer spring days. He'll come out here and as mom eats her snacks, he'll sometimes just forego the snacks completely and lay all the way down on his side and take a nice snooze in the sun. Now to help build his comfort out here, we know that keepers are starting to build relationships with him and he's starting to recognize us as we approach and he has no hesitation approaching us in those indoor, more familiar locations. So we're using our relationship to help Omo out here a little bit. As mom is getting all these snacks, we're making sure that Omo sees where we are and we're tossing him snacks frequently, especially the more soft stuff that you can see he's choosing to engage with here. Indoors, he'll take food right out of our hands, but because he likes to stay right next to mom's hip out here where it's a little less familiar, that makes it a little more challenging. So we're letting him just eat all day long per usual as much as he would like to. As long as he looks nice and comfortable, we will allow them to stay out here. And if there's any signs of discomfort, we just bring them right back inside. As you can see, when Zambezi opens her mouth, there's a really big assortment of fun snacks in here. There's grass, there's cabbage, there's oranges, apples, a little bit of dirt mixed in too. Tooth care for hippopotamus is really important. Zambezi has allowed us to reach into her mouth and pull out any impacted hay and even brush her teeth. We do that pretty much on a daily basis and that's a really important trained behavior that's crucial to her veterinary care and her longevity. She's 29 years old, and Omo, being just almost 10 months old, is starting to build those foundational relationships with keepers that we spoke of before. And that's why it's so important that we have those relationships, is so that we can help him to choose to be a part of his own veterinary care, choose to build relationships with guests, and choose to be a part of his own welfare. He's trucking. Thanks so much for joining us for another Zambezi and Omo update. Stay tuned for more milestones about Omo and his mom here at Water's Edge Africa at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo.